It's almost over, baby. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried the Occult Baby Challenge. It's a challenge to The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch, and the goal is to have a baby with every occult in The Sims 4. There's some rules to this challenge if you're interested in those. That link will be below. Last time, we had Bone Hilda's baby. Check. So in this episode, we need to finish up raising my children to achieve their hopes and dreams. What a wholesome episode. But I'm sure I'll get up to some fun shenanigans anyway. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. My goal is to hit 800,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a pretty far reaching goal, but I really feel like we can make it. So if you aren't already, make sure to hit to that subscribe button. Let's hop in. All right, last time we wrapped up this episode with Haru. They have herbalism level two. They still need to become an A student. Everyone else is doing great and Cosmo needs to become an A student as well as finish up his own requirements. So I think we've got a couple episodes in us still for Cosmo to finish up his required skills. I was trying to get him finished with WizKid where we only have this left. So we need to craft three emotional potions and achieve a level 10 mental skill. I feel like we could do that. So let's give him a little potion thing to put in his room here. Yes, yes, a little beakers vibe here. Oh look, it fits right in. How sleepy are you? You're not sleepy at all. Get up. I know it's 4 a.m. but I want you to create potions, okay? We just gifted you a beautiful new table. Let's see if you can reach it. Yes! Oh my gosh. I just figured this was tight. I didn't know if he could route there, but he can't. We're working on this whiz kid aspiration already. Haru is hanging out. Oh my gosh. Do you want to help them? Buddy is already helping Haru with homework. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Stephanie, she's just grooving. Look at her. I love it. Shake your groove thing. All right, so Cosmo, I want you to make another emotion potion. You got to craft three of them. And Bunny is coming downstairs, which makes me think that Haru finished their homework. Yay, Haru finished their homework amazing pants. All right, Haru, get some rest. You've got school in like three hours. Part of me just wants to see if we have enough aspiration points to just get a sleep potion. I don't want you to go to school with bad needs. Look at them. They're they're doing great. They're fixing their needs. How are you doing, Cosmo? Cosmo made a second potion. Great. One more potion for you, Haru. Oh, ugh. Cosmo, my brain got confused. Haru, they are over here finishing up their bladder. They're very focused. You know what would be a perfect thing to do while you're focused, Haru? Well, for First, you gotta take a shower. I want all of Haru's needs to be absolutely pristine for school. So we are- Whoa, buddy! Cosmo's like, I need to go to the toilet. And we're like, all right, Haru can go shower upstairs. I don't quite know why Stephanie's upstairs. Maybe she misses her mom. Why don't you go like take a little nap in mom's bed? Get a nice little cuddle session. Haru is gonna shower. Everything is ready to go for school tomorrow, which means that they can study herbology. What's it called again? Potion something. Uh, herbalism. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna reread our volume one of herbalism. Haru is focused up. They are reading their herbalism skill, which means their levels are going up, which is fantastic. Cosmo is feeling fine and fresh and fancy free. He needs to get an A grade at school. I think he's close. So let's work on your mental skill, buddy. Why don't you play a little game with Bunny? Bunny loves hanging out with the kids too. She reminds me of her sister. Live? No. Eve. There's too many Sims in this household. Haru, why are you sad? Oh, about Kiyoshi. Ah. All right. It's time for school. Haru, go to school. Don't worry about putting the book away. Go to school, Cosmo. We'll work on your mental skill when you're home. Haru's going to school. They are so sad. Haru, please be in a good mood so you can become an A student. Cosmo, it's okay if you don't become an A student. All right. It's no big deal. We still could get you into that whiz kid, which might help with all of his learning later. Okay. So we're going to listen to teacher for both of my students. Perfect. Oh. Oh, look at these two. Stephanie snuggling in bed with mom. And then we've got Liv downstairs taking a shower in her sister's room, listening to tunes. Hey, Chelsea, I've been thinking about getting to know Emmett Rocha better as a friend. Go for it. And now that we made you human again, you gotta build some friendships. Oh, and look at Stephanie picking up some new hobbies, learning to dance. Oh, she likes cottage core music. Well, that's cute. Oh, look, Liv is all dressed up. Good for you, Liv. Reading a book about 
handiness and upgrading. Oh, what do you want to be upgrading? Some things in the underworld, perhaps? Good for you, queen. Chelsea's still sleeping, cooking up those twins, of which she will have any minute now. Oh, she's getting a phone call. During the free time, Cosmo drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates. He's just too smart for his own good. We encourage creativity. She's gonna go dance with Stephanie. Oh, look at these two. Oh, our little demon queen and our little queen of the underworld having a nice chat. Maybe have a deep personal conversation together. And Stephanie's being very nice. She's feeling artistic because she loves art. And now she's going to insult her sister. Don't do that. Why don't you paint something, okay? Get your feelings out. Let's do a large pop art painting. Let's see what that is. Haru just reached painting level three at school. Okay. Oh, my little evil Stephanie having some little evil laughs. It's very funny that she scrapped this painting and then just redid it. It's like she saw Bunny's painting and was like, I could do it better. And she did it exactly the same. Good job, buddy. Plagiarism is Stephanie's first act of thievery. The first of possibly many to come. Who knows? And Chelsea over here just enjoying her ramen. Bunny going to use the restroom. Stephanie, finish this. Great. Why don't you sell that? And we'll do another pop art painting. How about that, Stephanie? Oh my gosh. I heard this banging noise. Wait, this is Star Wars. Stop listening to the Star Wars music. I heard that and I literally thought there was someone knocking on my door and I got really freaked out by it, but no. Liv, why don't you call up your dad, Grim, okay? You've been wanting to chat with him for a minute. Might be good. Can we summon him? Yeah, we're gonna have him come over so that Liv can chat with him. Oh, here he comes. He's knocking at the door. He's cheering for Chelsea. He's still a fan. Go hug your dad lovingly. Okay, go chat with him. She's showing off the outfit that she wears just like like his. Oh, wow. They don't want a hug. You know, Grim's not a big fan of hugs, so they do more air hugs in this family. It's normal. She is terrified right now. She's afraid of death and she's afraid of the dark. She's like, I don't like this man. She's very scared of him. Why don't you go rock inside, all right? She's running away. She's like, I don't want to talk to this man. Versus our Liv is so happy that she just got a sentiment with her dad. Closer from happy memories. Oh, we share your melancholy thoughts. Okay, apparently they were a little melancholy. Melancholy for Grim. He's very upset by her melancholy thoughts. Okay, okay, back to our Sims. Haru's greater up. Good job, Haru! And Cosmo is still a beast student, but I'm pretty sure he's a pretty good beast student. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow he might age up. And today, Haru will age up. Haru, why don't you go wash your face? I know you're tense. Maybe also calm down. We're so happy for you, Haru. Oh, wow. Is he? Yep, Grim is doing push ups. Okay, my buddy, why don't you play some chess here? It's Liv's birthday. Oh my gosh, is Liz gonna become an adult? That is wild. Wait, for real? There's no way. Oh my gosh, Liv is gonna become an adult. <laughs> so weird. Come on, Haru. Come blow out candles. I'm excited for them to be a full adult sim. We can focus entirely on their requirements while Cosmo's at school, so that's good. Yay, Haru! I'm so happy. They are an adult now. Okay, Haru is unflirty. Okay, and we'll go for still that wellness requirement. Fantastic. All right, add some birthday candle. Fabulous. We're saving that for later. And then meanwhile, Cosmo is working hard on his mental skill, but not that hard. I kind of wish you were more focused here, buddy. Why don't you and your sister play together? Liv is apparently bored. Hopefully you'll have more fun when you're playing with your brother. How are you doing, Haru? Haru's doing great, feeling nice. And Grim is trying to flirt with Chelsea and it's working. They never can get over our Chelsea. They're always in love with her. I mean, she is beautiful and stunning and wonderful. Like what's not to like, you know? Anyway, Haru, could you please continue reading your beautiful, beautiful book about herbalism? Oh, confront about bullying. Haru's confronting Stephanie about bullying people. Haru's like, hey man, we're your family, okay? Stop bullying us. And hopefully Stephanie took it to heart. Haru's reading. We're almost at level three, which is great. Haru, why would you? Okay, Haru wants the music on, fine. As long as you're reading, I don't care. 
<laughs> All right, Haru reached level three of the herbalism skill. Good job, Haru. And Cosmo is still playing. Oh, Grim has decided he needs to get going now. Okay, bye, Grim. Ooh, and Cosmo's level nine, so he just needs to get up to level 10, and he'll be good to go for tomorrow. Okay, and Haru just finished. We're at level three of herbalism. Let's read it again. Unfortunately, you just have to keep reading the same book over and over. Chelsea's breaking it down to metal music. This reminds me of that scene in Monsters University where the mom's like, fine, boys. I just want to listen to my tunes. I feel like that's 100% Chelsea right now. Okay, here we go. Cosmo, genius extraordinaire, playing his little soul out. Yes, he mastered the mental skill. He's all done for today. Now he just needs to become a level A student. So we got to get him all set for school tomorrow. Okay, buddy. Ooh, you my little future rocket scientist. Oh, wow. He's very angry from that aggravating conversation with Stephanie. Everyone's doing well. Haru, why don't you read again? Reread the whole thing. Our adorable son Cosmo here is going to go use the toilet and then go straight to bed. And then in the morning, I think I might wake him up a little early to do his homework. Haru's decided to procrastinate and set the table. A classic thing to do when you are not really interested in doing the thing that you are doing. All right, darling. Oh, you're inspired. Why don't you sell this and then go paint a painting while you're inspired. Let's do like a classic medium painting. Woohoo! Milestone complete. Good job, painter extraordinaire. Now you need to sell three paintings to collectors or art gallery and complete three emotional paintings. I love that this was, I'm pretty sure, a painting that she also made as a kid of a monster. It's the most Stephanie painting to just have left. Oh, it looks like a little cottage maybe that she's painting. I love that it's red and black, her signature colors. We're gonna sell that to an art collector. First of three. All right, let's do another classic medium painting. Ooh, it looks like a little mouse in a dress. That's so cute. Oh, Cosmo's up. Cosmo! Go do your homework, please. I need you to do your homework before school so you become an A student. Good boy sitting at his desk in his room. Excellent job. And we got Stephanie. Did you finish up this painting? Amazing. Go sell that to an art collector again. Next up, let's do impressionism. That's one of my favorite types of paintings, actually. Fun fact about Kelsey. Bunny, since you're already here, why don't you help Cosmo with his homework? Bunny's like, of course I will help Cosmo with his homework. She was eating a blue steak made by Chelsea. When did Chelsea cook a blue steak? Okay, that's fine. But Cosmo's getting all the homework help he needs. All right, he's got to go to school. He didn't quite finish his extra credit, but that's okay. Goodbye, Cosmo. Have a fun time at school today. He wore his fancy black outfit to go and Chelsea's at labor. Oh my gosh, just as Cosmo's off to school. Okay, Cosmo. Do, 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 do. Listen to your teacher. Okay, Chelsea, 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 Chelsea is having babies. She is ready to go. All right, let's go have the baby at the hospital. We can invite maybe Bunny to come with her. That'd be cute. Support her mom. Chelsea's had all these babies alone. So now one of her babies will come with her to take care of her. So cute. All right, we're here. I think this is our doctor who is a ghost. And our daughter is here as well. Let's check in. Okay, Bunny, why don't you take a nice little seat and knit some clothing? I wish she could knit a sweater for like a baby. Oh, children's sweater, she can. So let's do like the white and gray children's sweater. Chelsea, pretty uncomfortable because she hates easy listening music. And she's also afraid of ghosts because of her fear of death. So she's unhappy with her doctor being a ghost. Just an all around banger day for Chelsea and Peter Schmay. Ooh, Cosmo reached level five of creativity. Okay, can we check in sometime? Sir, let me have my baby. Stop taking phone calls. This really does feel like an American hospital. Sir, Kato Nakayama, I swear. You better let me check in and have my... She still does not have her baby. Go off, Chelsea. She's so uncomfy. Why can't we just have our baby? Okay, he's finally checking us in, I think. Okay, dude, I am in labor in heels. Do you see these? Get me back there. Get these babies out of me. I'm pregnant with twins. Do you see this belly? Sir, my daughter has completed an entire sweater in the time that it has taken you. Oh my gosh, she's got to do another one. We're going to knit the black and white children's sweater. Sweater. We're very angry because we're upset about how my mom's being treated. Are you kidding me? All of these Sims are waiting in line wanting to check in. Oh my God, I got the notification a second time. Yeah, this is glitched. Okay, we're gonna join her and we're going to once again bring our beloved bunny in Peachishmay. There we go. Okay, Chelsea seems like she's possibly gonna have this baby now. And Cosmo's grades are up. Cosmo literally came home from school. You know what? Let's go home. We don't need a birth certificate. F this. We have been trying. Bunny, come on. Bunny's like, I'm almost done with this 
this sweater. Give me like two seconds, okay, mom? I'm right behind you. Two sweaters were finished and I didn't even have the babies at the hospital. Terrible healthcare in the Sims. <laughs> this is tragic. And look at that Cosmo finish his aspiration and now it's ready to age up. But first and foremost, let's have Chelsea have the baby. Okay, we need to get some bassinets. Pretty sure the twins are gonna be upstairs in Marina's old room. Oh, look at the pastel ghosties. You know what? I'm doing pastel ghosties for this room. I do not care. Now let's get our baby some bassinets. I know accidentally that both of them are baby girls. Do one here and then we'll have another here. I feel like we need to do this, but it doesn't match the rest of the room very well. Unless I add more pops of black in. Wait, that might be cute. We could do more of like a less warm tone flooring maybe. That does match everything a little better. It's like pastels meets death. And then we'll do a little changing table. I like the white. Oh, we could do like a little rocking chair. That's so cute. And here is the finished room. You know, it's a thing. I don't know if it's like the cutest room, but it is a room nonetheless. Maybe I need to like make the floors black. There we go. It's a cutish room. So let's go have our baby upstairs. She's like, this is rough having my baby at home. It's a girl. What is their names? Great question. I'm glad that you asked. Ask our Patreon. And luckily for me, we have a lot of suggestions here. I think I'm gonna go with Skelly for the first kid. Skelly and Peachishme. And then for our second girl, let's go Tibia. Thank you to our Patreon members for last minute suggesting things. Oh my goodness, the babies are here. Ah! So Skelly's over here and then Tibia is over here. But Cosmo, you need to age up. So it's now your turn. Our son. Oh, I'm so excited to see what he's gonna look like. All right, blow out the candles. Cosmo, it's your turn to become a teen. Ah! Here we go. Boom, Cosmo aged up. He is romantic, cute, and we're gonna go with aspiration. I'm gonna say nerd brain makes the most sense here. Okay, fantastic. And let's go look at him in Create a Sim. All right, so this is our king, Cosmo. I just want him to look like a teenager at this point, you know? I want him to give teen boy vibes. Maybe I'll do this one instead. I think he looks like a teen here. And then here, he does not look like a teen. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Maybe I'm just very into pastels today. As if we'll ever see him in that outfit. But you know what would be very cute? I know it's cliche to put glasses on a nerdy sim, but like, come on. How cute is he with them? He just looks too cute. I don't care what you say. Little Cosmo. There he is. Look at our teen Cosmo. I really like this look. I think he looks very sweet. It's a bit of a departure from when he was a kid, but some people don't look very similar to when they were a kid. I was one of those Sims as well. He's an excellent B student. He'll probably be an A student like tomorrow. So why don't you go do your homework, buddy? And then his requirements for this challenge are rocket science and programming. So we can do programming on our computer. We're already good to go. But we do need to put a rocket somewhere. And how big are these little rocket things? They're very big. I don't know if we'll have any room out in the backyard. Maybe right here. Oh, right here fits. Nailed it. All right. He's got a little starter rocket that we bought for his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Look at him, he's a little nerd, I love it. Speaking of little nerds, Haru wants to go observe the sky. I love that for you, Haru, but what I would prefer you do is read your fancy book about herbalism. And then we need someone to fix this. Maybe our girl Liv will fix this toilet since Liv was recently reading a book about repairing. And Haru, almost done with level four of herbalism. I think we finally will graduate to book number two. Cosmo's finished his homework. Of course he has, because he's such a smart boy. Oh, and Haru just, I think, reached level four of herbalism. Oh, Stephanie and Liv got a sentiment copy for you guys. Haru's now on herbalism too, thankfully. Cosmo has finished his extra credit. Good job, Cosmo. All right, why don't you start building your rocket in the backyard? There it is. Wow, it's so big. I feel bad that he's working in the dark, so maybe we'll give him a little bit of light for fun. All right, what about like these lights, these little wire rope guys? We'll put them like around as if Chelsea like strung lights on his new rocket ship thing. And she's like, well, I want you to be able to see when you're building your rocket ship. Yes, 
This is perfect. Yeah, it looks very much like Chelsea just strung lights on the build, which is very cute. All right, how are you, Haru? Haru is feeling fine. Level four of herbalism, a little bit past. Love that for you, Haru. Keep it going. And Cosmo's working on his first level of rocket science. Incredible. Gaining very quickly from his boosts. Haru wants to go stargaze. That's so cute. I'm gonna let Haru do it, even though I would rather Haru work on other things. It's fine. Are you having fun? So fun. You're making me nervous, Haru. Wow, two dangerous objects sitting out here in Sims land, okay? Terrifying. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Let's go read our book instead. You know what's safe? Reading books. You know what's not safe? Looking at stars in The Sims. Cosmo's just working away late into the night. Cares not for his slumber. Okay, well, I care a little bit because you do need to go to school tomorrow. All right, that's enough. He dislikes rocket science. No, you don't dislike it. You're just tired. Oh, and look who's up. It's Tibia. Mom, come give Tibia a little efficient baby care moment here. You're like, no, my daughter Liv is already here. All right, well, Liv, you can help. And Stephanie is thinking about her brother. How cute. Okay, Cosmo's in bed. He's chilling. Haru is reading their book. Yes, thank you, Haru. While letting Chelsea- No, stop gazing at the stars. My Sims need to stop it. No one gaze at stars. Enough of that. Well, they can stargaze with just like laying on the floor. They don't need to stargaze with that. Let's stargaze together. That's so cute. All right, Haru is helping with parenting as well. Haru's kind of like, I would rather do anything, anything else than keep reading these silly books. All oh, these two, they're going outside. Stephanie asks Liv to stargaze. Oh, this is so cute. I do see that they are best friends. Like they are the best friends of the house. I'm pretty sure this is Stephanie's closest friend. Oh, and Bunny actually. Oh gosh, Tibby is up and needing a diaper change. All right, why are all my Sims really wanting to stargaze tonight? Go to sleep, everybody, all right? Not you guys. I didn't mean you guys. You guys just stay up all night if you want to. Okay, now they're going inside. Good night, kids. Cosmo, how you doing? Perfect. All right, I need you to be perfect at school today because if you do, you will be a teen for one day, which I think will be a record, I think. You're gonna go get some leftovers of cake. Really? That's fine. And since you're low on fun, listen to some fun music, maybe some hip hop. Yeah, fun's going up. Cake is going up. He's feeling very inspired from the music. That's so cute. He's so happy. He's sticking in the shower. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Okay. Hunt for egg. Oh my gosh, it's flower bunny day. Why don't you do that, I guess? Go hunt for some eggs. Oh, it's Saturday. Crap. Well, that's okay. We have plenty of time then for him to work on his skills. And it's bunny's favorite holiday, flower bunny day. Why don't you hunt for an egg and then use the toilet? That would be a weird turn of events if you find an egg in there. Oh, she's feeling uncomfortable. Was it worth this? Oh no, did she eat something with lactose in it? Poor bunny. Yes, luckily she did not find an egg in the toilet. I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Why don't you hunt for an egg in the plant? That's always a good place to spot the eggs. Oh, she found one! Good job, bunny. Ooh, and look who's up, it's Tibia. All right, mom, wake up and efficiently care for Tibia. Here we go. And Haru is level four of the cooking skill. Good job, Haru. Ooh, grabbing a serving. What did my kid make? Oh, wait, Haru made it up here. What is it? Pinchos. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Oop, someone is upset as usual, Skelly. Looks like Liv is on the case. What do you need, Skelly? Kelly, Haru's doing great. Perfect time to read a book on herbalism. Oh, and Cosmo did find an egg today. Perfect. Oh, Cosmos is a glowy egg. Very special, Cosmo. Good job. All right, Haru, how you doing? Almost there. Haru, come on. I need you to finish your herbalism. This is my new goal right now. Haru, it's all you. Please finish your herbalism. Oh my gosh, Cosmo's already reached rock and science level three. You're 48%. No, keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. And the bunny is here. All right, Chelsea. Why don't you say hi? Since apparently you like the tradition of having the bunny here. Give the bunny a heartfelt compliment. Liv doesn't really care too much about the traditions, but she doesn't not like the tradition. So have Liv participate. Bunny, maybe go say hi to the flower bunny. I believe this is your parent. Haru's 54% complete with the skill. Okay, we can do better. Come on, Haru. Cosmo's already at level four. Oh my gosh. Wow, having this skill as a kid really helps because he is really good at his rocket science skill. Oh my Marina! Marina got asked on a date by Alfred Burn? Oh my gosh, yes, go for it. Oh my gosh, apparently the flower bunny is helping Cosmo on the rocket. That is so funny. Who knew the flower bunny was also a rocket scientist? All right, let's keep going. Herbalism, herbalism. 
Come on, Haru. Go, Haru. Go, Haru. Go. Rock in that chair. Yeah. Cosmo's already level five. Oh my god. Cosmo. No. Why is Tibby upset now? Chelsea, this is supposed to be your job. Haru, stop trying to avoid finishing your skill. You are so close. Okay, here we go. Come on, Haru. Come on, Haru. You got this. Yes. Level five herbalism. Let's go. We did it. Oh my gosh. Haru is officially done with the challenge. Good job, Haru. I love ya. And Cosmo is really uncomfy. Cosmo, maybe stop doing some rocket science and go take a shower. You deserve it, King. I love that in the backyard of the house, there's just a rocket being built. And like from the front of the house, you just have like this. Oh, Liv and Stephanie just got a sentiment and Stephanie became good friends with the flower bunny. Wow, Stephanie's really making a lot of strides in that department. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Haru, why don't you try to repair that now? How's Stephanie just chatting with the bunny? Wow, they became very close. Okay, Stephanie, why don't you try to cook everyone a grand meal since it's flower bunny day? Or like a holiday breakfast for dinner kind of vibe. That sounds fun. And Cosmo is a little tired. It is 8.30. He's also hungry. Why don't you practice programming though, just for fun? Wait, Haru's finished. If we finish up Cosmo, we will be done with the challenge. I don't think I realize this. That is wild. Oh my gosh. Because these two beans do not have any requirements. I technically don't really need to age them all the way up. So I probably won't. I just feel like it'll just drag out the challenge. If I know anything, I like to think I know when to let things end and start new things. I know it's heartbreaking not to be able to see everything, but we will age them up. So we'll at least see them as toddlers, if not kids. But this is exciting, which means that we'll have some new videos coming up very soon, which will be very fun for me. And also hopefully fun for you guys too. Stephanie, how's it going? Oh God, so not good. You're not burning down the house. So there's that. Oh, it's excellent. Stephanie. Oh my gosh, call everyone to this grand meal. Stephanie does want to make an enemy. I want you to have everything you want in the world, Stephanie. So if you really want to make an enemy, I think you should go for it. Go grab a serving Cosmo. You deserve it, King. He's been working hard. Halfway through level one already. What is happening? I heard something banging. Is someone breaking something? Oh my God, it's the flower bunny is still working on my rocket ship. Flower bunny's like, if nothing else, I will finish this rocket ship for you. Oh, okay, flower bunny, thanks. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. And all my friends seem to have figured that out. How do I figure it out myself? Literally turned into a teen yesterday. No worries, I think you have time. I think it might be bedtime for everybody. It's 11. Okay, everyone's in bed. Now. Magic is so rare to have all of my Sims in bed. Oh, Flower Bunny Day was successful. It was awful for Liv and Cosmo. Bunny, it was fine. Haru was awful and Stephanie was awful. Great. The rocket's literally done. What? Cosmo, you can just, just go to space if you want. But I kind of want Cosmo to practice programming again. Hopefully it'll be fun for you. And Skelly is up and sad. All right, Chelsea, go fix all the baby care. Stephanie woke up needing to pee. Everyone's starting to wake up. It's like 5 a.m. though, quite early for a wake up moment, but it's all good. And Cosmo is up level two of the programming skill. Cosmo's chatting with mom while he's doing his programming, which is helping his social skill, which is good. Oh, and the babies are up and they are upset. All right, Chelsea, it's all you. Change that dirty diaper. It's like both of the babies are up. All right, what else do you need? Bottle, okay. I'm gonna feed Tibia as well. All right, Tibia and Skelly seem like they're doing okay. Oh, he's feeling tense from low brain power. All right, you need some fun. Why don't you play chess with Liv? I feel like you would enjoy that. Chelsea's enjoying some yummy food. Cosmo's mood is going up, which is good. He's working on his low brain power. And Liv is just gloomy. She wants to flirt with Bonehilda? Absolutely not. No, no, definitely not. Oh, look who's here. It's Jack and Pichu. Okay, look who's passing his house and not even saying hi to his mother. Who raised him? Who gave him everything? Okay, fine. I'm not upset. I want to age these babies up. It's the birthday today. Okay, happy birthday, Tibia. Okay, Tibia is silly. Cute. And then let's age up Skelly. Tibia looks very similar to Chelsea. Oh, it looks like Skelly has Bonehilda's red hair. Oh, look at him both. All right, let's see what I can do to adjust these kids' appearances. All right, first up is Tibia. Let's see your little face. Oh, so cute. I feel like maybe giving our Sims just fully black eyes could be very Bonehilda-y. Bonehilda also doesn't have any eyebrows. Okay. 
I'm making a very spooky looking child. We could also do the miscellaneous like white skin tone. Yeah, the baby just looks like an alien. It doesn't look like Bone Hilda. I'm gonna have to undo this. I'm down to keep the eyes, okay? Here we go. This is kind of looking like Bone Hilda's top. And then we'll do like a little skirt. This one's kind of cute because it almost looks like an apron. So I kind of like that. So this is kind of like as Bone Hilda y as I think I can get for a toddler. I think it's kind of cute. Is there anything that's giving more Bone Hilda than this? You know what? I think this is kind of cute. I might give this to her. And then in that case, I'll make the hair piece black. There you go. Now it kind of all matches. This is cute. I like this. All right. So this is Tibia. And then we have Skelly, who has red hair and is rocking some sunglasses. Skelly, I think, also should have those terrifying eyes. I want to try to use this hair because I haven't used it before. And then once again, we'll do like probably a similar look. This is going to be kind of spooky. They're giving shining twins, which is funny. So I'm going to keep it. I didn't mean to make them like shining twins. Listen, okay, I just wanted to make them look like little skeleton babies. This is Skelly and this is Tibia. I'm so excited to see them just toddling around in the world. All right, let's see them all. There's Tibia and there is Skelly. They're looking super cute in their little matching fits. I'm gonna give them new beds since they can't sit in those anymore. There aren't any stacking toddler beds, so I think feel like we'll just have to do maybe like this kind of vibe and then there are toys over here and we'll just get another one of these little princess beds for over here and change the color maybe to a different pastel there you go perfect so i think that might be all that we need for now it's looking cute it's looking pastel and the girls are also looking cute let me know if there's like any mods to make them into little baby skeletons because that would be really cute to watch but i kind of like them as they are in their little matching outfits oh my god look at them. I'm really excited to get to know them in the next episode and possibly very likely final episode of the Occult Baby Challenge. Thank you guys all for tuning in and I'll see you Saturday for the Not So Fairy Challenge. Bye!